This week on Windy City Weekend, how long can you survive without your cell phone? We'll reveal the surprising results from a new poll. And we head to Uptown for some eye-popping pizzas taking over Instagram. Plus, J-Lo is heading down the aisle in the new rom-com, Shotgun Wedding. Richard Roper tells us whether it's a spend or a save. Now, here are your hosts, Val Warner and Ryan Cheverini. Welcome to Windy City Weekend. It is Friday, January 27th. Can you believe we are already done with the first month of the new year? Yeah, that's good because I want to fast forward. We just saw the picture outside. Fast forward through January, fast forward through February. Even March is kind of suspect in Chicago. Oh, for sure. And then get to the uh, two weeks of spring well, that April we have. April's suspect, then get, too. That's true. In May. Yeah, and even June, it, we just don't <laughs> know. But anyway, he's, uh, he's going to brighten our day. Let's bring him in right now. Actor, comedian, and good friend of ours, Damon Williams. Hey. What's hey, up, Damon? Hey, it's so good to be home. I right. know, right? Yeah, wow. Because they are I mean, no studio audience except for your lovely wife, Juanita, and yes. Alyssa, and TJ. Yeah, but told, that's it. I told her I rented out the place for her. Oh, <laughs> yes. You could Ballin'. celebrate. It's big time. Hey, congratulations, by the way. 30 yes. years in comedy, huh? Yeah, 30 in a row, brother. Yes. In a row. Yeah, so we celebrated last night at the City Winery. It was packed, sold out, great energy. My son and my niece performed, um, oh, and wow. comedians J Deep and uh, M Dubs as well. And man, it was a ball. My DJ Dollar Bill came in. You know, he's been with me for 25 years, but he moved to Atlanta. Yeah. So I flew him back home for oh, the, nice. the thing, and it was great, man. Yep. That's amazing. And uh, do you now do you lock up cell phones at the shows? Because I know a lot of the comedy shows I've gone to, they lock up phones now. Yeah, no, we don't do that unless you're working on a special. Usually mm. um, comics like the bigger names, they have a Netflix deal, so they don't want the material leaking. But I was just freestyling and, and kicking it with the people last night. Right. But there we did go. film it, too. So yeah. there you go. Well, well that in, brings in, us. In oh, good. Oh, in your 30 <clears throat> years. You've opened for the Kings of Comedy. You've done everything and worked with the best of the best. Richard, Ray Charles. Right. <laughs> so who or what stands out to you the most in 30 years? Well, you mentioned that, uh, the Kings of Comedy. Just to be able to come home with Bernie Mac to the United Center. Mm. Yeah. So both of us Chicago guys coming back to the city at that magnitude, that was like a really highlight. And then uh, hosting Showtime at the Apollo, the, the TV show, for a little while, that was great. And um, proposing to my wife on stage and, and caught her at our New Year's Eve show and caught her completely by surprise. That and was I, in Indiana, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. So it's, still, it's still up, the video's still up on YouTube, man. I watch it sometimes because she was totally caught off guard. I had a whole family there. It was amazing. And now, how many uh, years ago now has that been? We've been married seven. Uh, Seven years. Yeah, it's, it zones by. Yeah. So okay. It, well, it I hope so. Been together, been by. together 13, been known each other 25. You know, yeah. how, it's always a backstory. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, speaking of time and things zooming by, and I asked the cell phone question for this reason: How long can you go without your cell phone? Mm. Like, how long? Realistically, let's be honest. If you're without your phone for how long, does it start to be like, oh, I feel naked? Like, like have you ever left the house without yes. your phone, and you're like, oh. I just did it last week. Yeah. Didn't I, Rosa? I just did it last week, and I went through the entire work day without my cell phone. Oh, uh, no. You'll hear, skirt, if I leave my phone. I'm going back. <laughs> in fact, people will be late for work to go home and get their phone to call in late because they left their phone. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, there it is. The average person can go five hours without their phone. Five hours and 11 minutes. I don't know how they calculate right. that. 11, but, what's that? You know what it makes me think of? How did we get by? Like, we all went through college with mm -hmm. no cell phones. Not all of us. I didn't go to college. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your college age years but right. I think about that like you would call them on a landline yeah. whoever you're trying to meet yeah. be like hey I'll meet you at the movie theater Remember when you used to print out maps yeah to Google figure maps. out where you're going you would print them out or you yes. would have the old school or the map, map in the glove compartment yes remember where you would open it up like it was trifold or yeah. maybe even more than that right and like he says to his point with the phone um, you know we we are from the generation where we remember not having a phone on your hip at all times uh, but I if I'm on like a vacation something like that I, I can go without my phone yeah. The whole time if I was able to. But it, with business and life, you right. don't. But like right. we, we did a cruise, and some days on the cruise, they don't have service. So when yeah. you're at sea, there's no phone. But you still end up picking it up, looking through it for no reason. Oh, it's not working. So right. It's weird. But remember, you would say, hey, meet me at this spot. And then you would go there. And then if they weren't there, you had to try to look for a pay phone yeah. Yeah. to try to call them. But now they're gone because they're looking for but you. Where, where are you calling them and if then you call you, them on the Then you would just go right. home, he, Where are you calling them if yeah. you call them on the pay phone? Yeah. Or well, at their home with everybody See left if they home. left home. Right, right. Yeah. I remember I was trying to get picked up from an airport, and my friend was at LAX, and I was at Orange County. But we didn't. We were talking on the phone. I'd call his house. His mom would call him. 
And then finally we figured out we're at the wrong airports. Wow. But it took like <laughs> 10 phone See, calls. See, I feel like I'm the opposite in this. Like I mentioned, just last week I left my phone at work in the mm -hmm. middle of the night. I mean, I have to be here by a certain time because there are things we do in the morning. Um, but I almost felt like it was a relief. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It was a nice break from, because while phones are convenient, it also is, I need this. Can you do this? Right. Send me this. True. So it was like nice to be able to say, I called the three people whose number I know by heart and said, hey, if you need me, here's my work phone. Call me on my work phone. Yeah. Right. And it's a liberating it at some point. It was point. a break. Yeah. And we need those breaks. I did that trip to Norway, remember, for Disney, yep. and there was no cell phone service for like seven days. And wow. the first two days, I was like, this is crazy. Like, I can't can't access anything, no social mm -hmm. media, and can't talk to anybody. Right. But after a few days, you, you get used to it, yeah. and then it is a bit liberating. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.